This is the guide of Georgia Outdoors, and today I'm coming at you from the bottom of Providence Canyon. We're in the big city of Lumpkin. We're about halfway through a three mile hike. I've got my daughter with me, as you can see. I got a, a belly full of uh, questionable barbecue right now, so the hike's not been particularly easy. So uh, we're right here at the bottom. I'm gonna go show you what it took to get here, and I'm gonna, uh, she's ready to go, as you can tell, so we're gonna continue the, uh, continue the hike. Let me guess. Okay, she's not ready to kiss. I've got my, uh, my wife and daughter with me today. This is actually her idea to come hiking. To me, hiking is kind of like walking without a destination in mind, but you know, sometimes that's the best way to walk. When you're out in the shade, it's about 90, 90 degrees in the shade, it's a little better. We're about a mile and a half in on this hike. Not too bad. Providence Canyon is not a natural wonder. It is a man-made disaster that has turned into a wonder. This is uh, the result of hundreds of years of poor land management, uh, erosion. Now typically a man-made disasters don't always turn out beautiful, but in this case it did, and they turned it into a state park. So this just shows you the uh, impact that we have on the uh, environment. And that's your little educational tidbit of the day. canyon before the day's over she's getting a little uh tired and that barbecue's not sitting real well with me so uh Mama. what about daddy we're gonna go up here last canyon of the day the last hike of the day was the best one it's hard to tell but just here to my right is about i'd say close to a hundred foot drop almost straight down up here at the top of the canyon it is hard to believe that this once was all flat ground Only got about a mile left to go. We only got a quarter mile left, but it's uh, probably the toughest quarter mile, almost straight up a hill. So uh, hopefully my partner will pull her away a little bit. As you can tell, I'm huffing and puffing a little bit. It's a little tiring, especially carrying a child. But I've been doing, working out just for this. I've been doing Drew's upper body workout, as you can tell. And I've been doing my brother Bailey's calf workout. And you can see these babies are, are popping, you know. He, uh, my brother is known for his calves. And I've been doing his workout program and it really helped me for this, uh, for this hike today. The last ascend, I can almost see the truck. This is a cool place, a great trip place to take a trip. Uh, do, will I come back? I think one trip's good enough for me. I don't think I need to come back again, but it was worth seeing. I didn't even know this was in Georgia. Until the next episode or to the next place I go, this has been the unofficial and no doubt incomplete guide to Georgia Outdoors. Mm -hmm.